Hi, brothers and sisters. Last night in my dream, I heard a reference to California cash and carry laws. And I as I was reviewing things related to that, I saw this image and it captured my attention. Are your state gun laws complicated? Most gun laws are difficult to navigate when selling a gun. Skip the hassle. We simplify the process. I thought that was a pretty eye-catching advertisement. I also heard the Lord say Ephesians 2.8, which says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. And then I heard directives for a holy life. So I think what this dream is referring to is the difference between salvation and living a holy life once we're saved. I also had a dream about a billboard. And basically, all over the billboard was reference to Catholic. And this billboard says, Catholics believe what? So let's take a look. What Catholics believe? What must I do to be saved Catholic? And this is the answer that is given online. You must repent, be baptized, learn what the Catholic Church teaches, accept communion, confirmation, reconciliation, stop sinning, go to Mass, and receive Christ in communion. Then I had a dream that there were um, some Catholic people around a campfire, and they were like playing with it. They had torches, maybe they were roasting marshmallows, but they were like teasing each other with like their armpit hair and their hair like to see if it would catch fire and um so that reminded me of all the little risks of going to hell associated with that um can you go to heaven if you commit a mortal sin is another question asked a mortal sin in catholic theology is a gravely sinful act which can lead to damnation if a person does not repent of the sin before death so if you're caught in the act of any grave, gravely sinful act without repenting, say you have a heart attack, then you're um, risking going to hell. So what are the gravely sinful acts? I read this article that the gravely sinful acts are related to the Ten Commandments, which when you break them down, aren't just Ten Commandments. This was a list of gravely um, hell dangerous sins that were listed. Polytheism, idolatry, superstition, divination, magic, sorcery, spiritism, irreligion, tempting gods, sacrilege, sacrilege, profaning sacred persons or sacred things, and simony, which involves the buying or selling of spiritual things. Blasphemy, curses, unfaithfulness to promises made to God. When I was in middle school, there was a camp and they asked us to promise to read the Bible every day, and uh, I do my best, but I'm not sure. I may have missed a day or two um, or more. <laughs> False oath, perjury. Third commandment, not going to Holy Mass during Sundays and Holy Days of Obligation without a just motive, which would include sickness, I'm sure. Um, yeah, especially during these times. I haven't been in the church. <laughs> Online, I guess. Maybe that counts. Fourth commandment, negligence in fulfillment and indifference of obligation responsibilities towards one's children, parents, and siblings, hatred, ingratitude, disrespect, disobedience, negligence, indifference in the education and virtue and in faith of one's children. Well, I try to lead my children in the Lord, but yeah, and sometimes I really feel like I feel short in that. But um, yeah, fifth commandment, you shall not kill. Direct and intentional murder and cooperation in it. Abortion. Um, euthanasia. Sixth commandment, adultery. I don't think I'm going to say all those words. But um, when they're committed against minors, they're even more grave. Um, so I guess a lot of their... Their leaders are at risk of, of hellfire, um, direct sterilization, contraception, artificial, that. <laughs> I have to say, I do, um, for medical reasons, use contraception, so I haven't repented of that. Hopefully, I don't die um, without repenting, but I can't see repenting of that one. 
Adultery, divorce, polygamy, incest, free unions, fornication, seventh commandment, theft, business fraud, paying unjust wages, forcing up prices, speculation, um, you know, buying toilet paper and raising the price online. Um, this one actually goes on. Corruption, work poorly done. I mean, I try to do my best work, but I'm not sure who judges if it's A plus or C minus. Forgery of checks, invoices, excessive expenses, waste. Man, I hate when we waste food. Willfully damaging private or public property, but it doesn't mean we can stop. It just kind of happens. I don't know. Slavery, disordered desire for money, withholding wages, immoderate love for riches, and their selfish use. I always wondered, should have we built a pool? Or, you know, I was wondering, we probably maybe we should have used that money to help build a homeless shelter or something. Eighth commandment, lying, false witness, perjury, rash judgment, detraction. I don't even know all these words. <laughs> I'm tired. Ninth commandment, forbids cultivating thoughts and desires connected to actions forbidden by the sixth commandment. So watch your thoughts. Don't be in a, a bad thought when you die. Tenth commandment, greed, unbridled covetousness for the goods of others, envy, which is the sadness one experiences at the sight of another's goods, and the immoderate desire to acquire them for oneself. So if you see someone that's doing really well and you feel sad for a minute, make sure you don't die because you didn't repent of that and you might go to hell. So I hope I'm not being too disrespectful because if I died while I was doing this video, maybe I would go to hell. But um, the point is, are your laws complicated? Let's simplify the process, okay? There's directives for living a holy life, which we live up, we try to live up to, but we can't. Only Jesus fulfilled the law perfectly. And is because of his death and sacrifice and his bloodshed. And by his grace, we have been saved. We already have been saved. We have been saved. It's done. It is finished through faith. We have faith in God's ability to save us, not in ourselves. I don't have faith that I can do all that stuff without repenting before I die. I have faith in God. I have faith in God. Even that's a gift from God. He gives us the faith to believe. It's not of ourselves. It is a gift of God that we are saved. Receive his free gift. Don't, don't have to worry about the, every little bit of fire, every moment, every second. God is good. He is sufficient. His grace is sufficient for you. Praise the Lord. I'm thankful it's sufficient for me too. God bless you. Amen.